and uh, I'm going to call this Obey OEL. You remember I have one for Obey VE. Well, I'm going to create a, an Obey OEL one now. And here's where I can come in and set up a few things. So now, probably here, this is the same as before. I'm going to uh, start this. I'll use the I'm going to use the same virtual machine, the same static IP. I'm not going to run this at the same time as the other one. So I'm going to pop those in there. Again, just watch the double scroll bars here. I'm going to bring that across and then come on down. So having done that, now this, this is where I will want these passwords because I will want to say VNC in to have a look at these. So I'm going to save them, uh, and I'm going to just do a validation of the deployment plan. That's good. So there's my admin server. Let me just double check these. I want to come across. I can see the Zen Bridge Zero. I can see the uh, IP address that I'm going to use. It's OEL type, and I've put those in. Let me just make sure I want to make sure that that got picked up. So that's welcome one, and I'm going to save those. So that's good. So there's my uh, deployment plan all ready to go. So I've got my deployment plan. I've got my external resource. I've got my WebLogic server appliance. So now what I can do is let me pull this right up so that we can see the messages as we go here. and what I'm going to do is go through the various stages as before. So now I'm going to build the template. So we're using the Enterprise Linux here. I'll go to the next one. We're doing this on the no local host, and I'm going to create a new package. Now, a couple of things I need to, to do here. We've got the middleware home, so this will pick up all my um, my base WebLogic server installation with all the patches and any setup that I have there but I need to add a couple of other directories. So what I want to do is to pick up my domain home. I want all the files from there. So for example, here, I have this under slash labs, WLS 10.3.2, user projects, domains, auction dev. So I want to make sure I pick that one up because that's obviously my uh, WebLogic server domain. And I don't need to exclude anything from that. If you wanted to, you could exclude sort of log files and things like that. The other thing that I also need to do is um, I want to pick up the directory where I have the deployed application. So I can call that something like obey app duh. And obviously this you could set this up all sorts of different ways, but the key thing here is under slash labs, if I can just get that to work, um, I have obey. That folder actually has the ear file which is being deployed in that domain. So we would want to have this as well. You have to have all the directories included here that include any bits that you will need when the uh, assembly builder rehydrates, it recreates that domain, it's going to run the uh, WebLogic server application and anything that it needs obviously has to be included. So here we go. We've got those, we've got our base WebLogic, we've got the obey auction dev domain, and we've got the application ear file itself in there. So now I've defined those, I can click next, and I have to give it the location for that base image. So once again, this is the thing that we copied in earlier. Sorry, I've gone one too far. So if we go in here, base image, and I go to OVM, I can go to OEL, and there's my system.img. So I can select that, and the root password for the enterprise Linux image is going to be welcome one here, and I'm going to use welcome one as well for the VNC password if I want to connect in using, you know, type VNC or whatever you choose to use there. So I can say, okay, go ahead, create new, 
and now I can click finish and we're going to go ahead and create that. Now what's going to happen here is it's going to zip up all the um, packages that are needed to, to recreate this uh, on OVM. So you can see there, for example, it's packaged up very quickly that Obey Aptor, uh, so that's zipped up and it's got all the, um, the application ear file and any libraries that need to be deployed with the application. It's now going through and it's going through the, the middleware home and it will do the same for that. So that's the WebLogic installation. And then it's going to zip up the, um, the domain home with my um, domain home directory and all the files that it needs under there. So this will just take a couple of minutes. Once again, I'm going to pause this here to save a little bit of time, and I'll resume when this is complete and show you what it's done. OK, so that's uh, finished now. You can see the end of the messages there, and you can see how we've um, packaged up the, the domain home directory there. We've got the packages for the various components. Uh, and we got the domain home, the middleware home, and also that directory where I have my applications deployed from. And if you had other components you needed to include in the template, then you would you you know package those up in exactly the same way. And you can see here that we've created that uh, that template, and we're now ready to register and deploy that with uh, OVM. So let's do that right now. So we've done build template. We can go to register template. Again, use the same OVM manager. We're using the default resource pool. I'm using the Obey OEL. And remember, again, you could have multiple deployment plans. So uh, I restarted this from scratch, but you could just carry on from where we left off in the previous recording and just add the OEL uh, plan to your VE1. So let's just register that. And you can see here connecting to the um, uh, Emperor pool. So now what we can do is go over to the um, OVM manager. Looks like it's a bit busy here, but we'll uh, be able to see in a minute. We'll be able to see what's going on over here. So I'll just pop that down for a second. And uh, what I'll do is, again, I'm going to pause the recording and I'll wait while this. Um, uploads the uh, template. Now it's going to load this up into the um, uh, seed pool uh, directory. So this is going to be a, you know, an OVM template. So here we go. Uh, if I come in here and I'm going to refresh this and I'm going to see it creating the new um, virtual machine template. There it is. So we'll let that let it do that take a few minutes again we've got to sort of upload that over the network and so on and then once this is done you'll see the various it's going to load up a, a couple of uh, virtual disks and then create that virtual machine template and then once that's done we'll come back and we'll see the the deployment of that